Samadhi is an ancient Sanskrit word that means union. It is union of the individual persona, the egoic self, with something greater, something unfathomable to the mind. Samadhi is a surrendering, a humbling of individual mind to universal mind. The purpose of all meditation, yoga, prayer, and spiritual attainment is Samadhi. In the language of the Christian mystics, it is humbling oneself before God. Samadhi is realized through what the Buddha called the Middle Way or what in Taoism is called the balance of yin and yang. In the yogic traditions, it is called the marriage of Shiva and Shakti. When Samadhi is perfect, it is wisdom of the great reality, prajna or panya, an understanding of the relationship between form and emptiness, relative and absolute. It is a coming into one's true nature, Samadhi begins with a leap into the unknown. In order to realize Samadhi, one must turn consciousness away from all known objects, from all external phenomena, conditioned thoughts and sensations towards consciousness itself, towards the inner source, the heart or essence of one's being. The source is not a thing. It is emptiness or stillness itself. It is an emptiness which is the source of all things. The great womb of creation pregnant with all possibilities. This union cannot be understood with the limited individual mind. It is only directly realized when the mind becomes still. There is no self that awakens. There is no you that awakens. What you are awakening from is the illusion of the separate self from the dream of a limited you. The world that you now think you are living in is actually you. It is your higher self, or the selfless self, anatta, no self. Samadhi is so simple that when you are told what it is and how to realize it, your mind will always miss it, because the mind is what needs to stop before it is realized. It is not a happening at all. It is the cessation or surrender of individual mind to higher mind or big mind. The most concise teaching of Samadhi is perhaps found in this phrase, Be still and know. How can we use words and images to convey stillness? How can we convey silence by making noise? Rather than talking about samadhi as an intellectual concept, this film is a radical call to inaction, a call to stillness, a call to meditation and inner silence, a call to stop.
stop everything that is driven by the pathological, egoic mind. Be still and know. No one can tell you what will emerge from the stillness. It is a call to act from the spiritual heart. Samadhi is not some mystical altered state of being. It is simply one's natural state of presence, of consciousness unmediated by thought, unmediated by an egoic identity. Most of humanity is in an altered state all the time, a state of egoic identification with form and thought. When one is in a state of natural presence and non-resistance, prana flows more freely through the inner world. This pranic stream, which is prior to the nervous system, prior to the senses and thinking, becomes a new interface with reality, literally a new level of consciousness or new way of being in the world. It is through the ancient teaching of Samadhi that humanity will begin to understand the common source of all religions and to come into alignment once again with the spiral of life, Great Spirit, Dhamma, or the Tao. Samadhi is the gateless gate, the pathless path, and it is the end of identification with the self-structure which separates our inner and outer worlds.